nearly 50 years, Houston has hosted a huge arts and crafts fair where you can grab unique items for your Christmas list. Um, Alan better be shopping for us. <laughs> well, that's what's what my thing. You is kind of like the home shopping network. You yeah, tell me you see something you like, maybe for yourself or someone that you're going to buy something for. I want this you to pick something place to do out it for us, all... and we're going to see you tomorrow. So go ahead and wrap it and bring it. Ooh. Yes. yes. Ooh, I like that challenge. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Well, this might be some of the cool things like this. This is like different kind of individual bracelets. I know. Uh, Brooches and also earrings, and this is all one of a kind kind of uh, item. Yes, all handcrafted. Handcrafted, and then you guys do the kiln and all that stuff. Yes. <clears throat> How did you figure what kind of style you're going to go with? I just we just design everything, just like ideas come to the head, right. do everything for the holidays. Oh. And you have uh, you accept credit cards. So thank you very much because I see some stuff that I, I'm going to like here, Deanna. This is going on for almost 50 years, that almost 50 correct. years out here in Houston. We're just. Uh, I say what? Ten minutes from the freeway. Go and just go east from the uh, from the freeway. From the 99. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty, sim pretty right simple. Series How did this all start? Back 83 years ago, the Women's Club of Houston got together <laughs> and started making crafts to send servicemen in World War II care packages. And more and more women started realizing that that they were doing and started making crafts, and it grew so big that over. Uh, 49 years ago, they started the craft show. Yeah, and I've seen, I saw this gorgeous booth here that has all kinds of different uh, uh, artists and items. And uh, I saw this over here. And of course, the only person I'm thinking about is my six month old daughter. Uh, and I would love to put her in a tie. She'd probably chew on it this whole time. But that's the thing it's unique items. You're not going to find this at the big box store. It's a good teething ring. Exactly. And that's, I believe she's going through it right now. I believe she kept us up all night uh, doing that. The ornaments, uh, the ornaments, I saw a lot of custom ornaments. And, and, and one of the things here is you get to connect with the artists themselves. Absolutely. These vendors, most of them have been here. I've been chairing this for 20 years, and they have been here longer than me chairing this event. So it is definitely um, one of the biggest, long, well, not biggest, like, but longest well, show. It's pretty big. I mean, <laughs> that's one of the things. It's pretty big because we talked about how big this is. Then we look at this gym, you're like, oh, that's only here. No, it's not. No, no. We go outside, inside. Um, but it is definitely, we've been told, the longest running craft show in California. So I say it's one of the longest one for sure. We're going to go check out uh, the other spots because there's so much show. Even the, the, the two segments we're going to do here, not enough time. But I've been challenged by the ladies on the desk. <laughs> Cammie and Ashley said to me, hey, I need you to find a gift because I'm going up tomorrow to the studio for the yes. 10 o'clock hour. And I'm going to bring uh, a gift for them. So I need you, you and I have we'll to connect. go. We'll connect. We'll connect. We'll be here 9 to 4 okay. today and tomorrow. I'll, I'll be here. All right, guys. I'm going to get to work for you guys. Let's okay. See All right. I'm excited to see what you pick out. Thanks so much.